What's up, YouTube? Drew from Not Too Nerdy here once again. We got uh, the Guardians of Middle Earth demo um, for Xbox Live. Uh, the demo actually came out last week, uh, December 4th. Unfortunately, I was so busy with Far Cry 3, I didn't have a chance to take a look at it. But uh, basically, this is uh, a MOBA style game like League of Legends, Heroes of Nerworth, uh, Dota 2. And uh, it's uh, developed by Monolith uh, Productions, uh, of course, the studio behind the Fear series, and most recent, uh, recently, uh, Gotham City Imposters. It's actually published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. So uh, it seems that uh, Monolith is uh, taking a lot of Warner Brothers uh, IPs, uh, you know, Guardians and Middle Earth uh, for the Lord of the Rings and uh, Gotham City Imposters for Batman, of course, and uh, creating these. Uh, smaller downloadable titles so uh i've been playing in the training mode uh just to test it out and it's pretty good for uh a moba slash game that's on a console that really hasn't been done before um it really controls well so uh we're not gonna waste any more time we're gonna get right into it um i believe it's 15 bucks on psn and xbox live of course uh the online uh is uh the biggest uh, thing for this, these type of games, but um, we're gonna play uh, a three-lane match. Uh, we're gonna play with uh, this dude over here. So let's select him. Let's pick a default. Ready. So you can change your loadouts and all that I stuff. Fight for Greenwood, the great. So uh, doesn't look like anyone's playing online. So uh, we're just gonna be playing against the bots. Um, it's a, it looks like a really good game. I think the biggest problem being that it's multiplayer only is that there's not going to be much people playing it. I mean, if you're into these type of games, more than likely you're going to play League of Legends or Dota 2. I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, I think it's great that it's a, a bringing that type of experience to the console, and it does it very well. But, you know, not even the Lord of the Rings license, I think it's going to be enough to make this game something that stands out. All right, so... It's your standard uh, MOBA. It's got your three lanes. It's got jungling. It's got uh, the minions, the towers. Battle. Actually, the cool thing about it is you can actually upgrade towers. You can um, you can actually upgrade uh, your minions itself, depending on which lane. This is something I don't I've n I don't think I've seen before. Oh, There's Golem. All right. So, like usual, you kind of want to stay behind your minions. That's the basic objective of the game, and I am no MOBA expert. I do not play League of Legends or any of those uh, type of MOBAs, but it really seems like it's really uh, catered for their controller, and it looks like a really fun game. Ooh, hey, check that out. That was a pretty cool ability. Maybe I, I should. All right, so the. That one is for the Guardian, so... Oh, alright. Let me back up. Okay. So it does a really good job of uh, catering to the controller. Uh, right bumper, of course, you can upgrade your abilities. Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna head back to base. You press the back button, you can recall. Actually, the cool thing I noticed, too, uh, it takes out a lot of uh, things that I don't like in MOBAs, like having to go back to your base and, and stuff like that. You don't really need to do it as much. Maybe just to have your health. You can actually, on your bar right here, you can actually, um, you can actually uh, upgrade all your abilities for that reticle. So let's check out some of the jungling. Also, a thing I don't like is they move so slow. Oh my gosh. I understand that design choice for MOBAs. You don't want to kind of have people just going really, really fast. But oh man. These shrines you can stand by, they'll give you buffs. Shrine controlled. Alright, so there should be a creature around here. So this is jungling. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, let me back up. 
Labyrinth, preserve me. So there's like creatures inside the jungle that you can uh, kill to get buffs. Not sure where they are right now. But let's go back to the base heal. So uh, the demo gives you about an hour to play. So we're going to play a whole entire full match. Hopefully it doesn't go too long, but it is what it is. All right, so let's get back. Shrine lost. Oh, the shrine is lost. All right, I'm gonna go back. So it seems like real fun. I think it's gonna be a shame if people don't play this. This is definitely gonna be a game that's slept on. Absolutely. Bitch. All right, so you can level up right bumper. So let's do that ability, the ability that's tied to my X button. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Damn. He got me good. He definitely got me good. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. All right, which lane should I go? All right, top one. Really good looking game as well. Monolith, I, I think, man, they are a really talented studio. Do your worst. I think it's good that, you know, these smaller developers uh, can uh, create like these downloadable titles now. Very cool. Whoa. Alright, so let's level up. Level up that ability. I need healing. Shit. <laughs> Damn. Alright, so I'm breaking the number one MOBA rule, which is <laughs> don't die because it makes your enemies more powerful. Which is, I'm. I gotta get better at that. I come at the behest of this is exactly why I don't play these type of games. Uh, the super competitive. The uh, community is obnoxious as hell. Just overall, I mean, if you're not good at it, it's no fun. But I can definitely see why people like it. Absolutely. Alright. And I love how they have this, like, the reticles. Uh, Smite kind of did the same type of thing for a PC. All right, so you cannot upgrade uh, your towers and uh, and your minions in League of Legends. That's what I thought. So that's that's pretty cool. That that's a really cool innovation for the for the genre. Ally tower destroyed. Gotcha, bitch. Ooh. I'm gonna head back to base. Alright. 
smoked. Loadouts like I have. So I wonder how you buy potions. An ally has fallen. Ooh, that's not good. I like that you can upgrade your uh, abilities on the fly. Um, it's not as uh, dummy proof as uh, Smite would automatically does it already, <laughs> but it's a nice addition. Tower upgraded. Nice. I am weakened. All right, so keep upgrading that ability. What's it called? Uh, Sylvan Agility. An enemy has fallen. Nice. This game is addictive as hell, man. I think they really could have something going, man. If they get a community behind it, you know, releasing new characters at DLC, man. But like I said before, I don't think it's gonna have much of an audience. This is a shame. I think maybe if we had some type of free to play model that was prevalent on consoles, this would be a perfect uh, example of something that could take off. But, you know, at this point in console development, it doesn't seem like we're there yet. Oh, shit. Tower upgraded. Oh, so there's health right there. Dur -dur -dur. Gotcha, bitch. An ally has fallen. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Walked right into that fire. So that's cool. They can put like a little fire thing down. Oh, let me get the fuck out the way, though. Nice. Ooh. I'm dead. All right, so let me level up. We'll land shot. So the abilities on B seems like you can only use them on other guardians and creatures. You can't use them on minions, which is interesting design choice. All right. Tower upgraded. Okay. See if we can upgrade the tower here. We got enough. Nope. Healing tower. All right. So you gotta be level six to upgrade your towers. So I'm almost there. An ally has fallen. Got gotcha, you, bitch. Nice. Ooh, I suck, balls. No homo. <laughs> Damn, I stink at this.
I have come to do battle. Damn. I'm so bad at this. An enemy has fallen. Uh oh. Tower upgraded. Oh, so I gotta stay inside that reticle. An enemy has fallen. Uh oh. Upgrade it to a healing tower. Stand up, you will Damn, I stink. You have fallen. It's kind of one of the reasons I don't like this genre. I die all the time, and I gotta sit here and wait to spawn. And my health is always running low. It's a very strategic game. Which is another reason. I'm more of a Twitch based player. Oh, Elberith, Gilthonio! Together, we shall have victory. Shrine controlled. So we can upgrade this. Quick shot, fire. There you go. Upgraded. For Brandwee and Greenwood. About to destroy our tower. Oh, damn, are you serious? These guys are fucking good. We're gonna lose. I already know already. But I'll stick it out for you guys. Also, tell me what you guys think of the video quality. Um, this is the first time I'm recording with the Elgato Game Capture HD for the Xbox. And uh the quality looking pretty good 1080p video i know it's upscaled but i still like it <laughs> i just like the idea of recording and and the full resolution you know full hd resolution uh, 1080p i have come to do battle. i know it's upscaled but still that's that's perfectly fine with me it's not that much of a difference in terms of uh video size so i'll i'll do it i'll uh, upload it We're fucked. An ally has We're fucked. Tower upgraded. This guy is way too powerful. He's level 14. I'm level 7. Let's get the motherfucker. Tower upgraded. Great. <laughs> Tower upgraded. Now let's go. Shrine lost. An enemy has fallen. Do your worst. Oh shit. Ah! Fuck! 
Shrine control. I stink so bad at this. Oh my gosh. And the more you die and the later it is, the longer the spawn points, which I fucking hate in these games. Oh my gosh. Shrine controlled. So I'm going to be playing um, the Dishonored DLC. Probably do like one video today. For Greenwood the Great. Of that, uh, we got Nino Kuni DLC. I, I can do. An ally has fallen. All right, that's Stand not good. Tower destroyed. Let's try this other lane. Uh oh. Fuck you. It's upgrade. Tower upgraded. Damn, we got spiders now. Tower Shit. Upgraded. Allied stronghold built. Tower upgraded. Yeah, buddy. Shrine lost. Nice. Allied stronghold built. Oh, that's hot. Shrine lost. That's awesome. An ally has fallen. Get those trees from the movie. That's fucking awesome. How cool. Uh, shout out to you, Monolith. You did a great job with this. Shrine lost. Really cool. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Tower upgraded. Yeah, buddy. Tower upgraded. It's fucking dope. <laughs> this is so dope. Oh, shit. Get that tower, baby. Destroyed. I am Oh, <laughs> I got greedy. I should have retreated. An ally has fallen. Definitely got greedy there. This is fun, man. That's really cool. Uh, they uh, got those tree creatures there from uh, the movies. An ally has fallen. An ally has fallen. <laughs> oh, Elberich! All right. Gilthonio. Oh shit. Yeah, we're gonna lose some. Keep up the hope though. Ally tower destroyed. Shrine control. 
Yeah, buddy. Try lost. Nice. This match is going forever. May the stars bring you hope. <laughs> Has fallen. Yeah, boy. Damn. Fuck. You have fallen. An enemy is outstanding. An ally has fallen. Tower destroyed. I think we're losing. <laughs> yep, we lost. Oh man, I suck. It's all good though. Defeat. This is not my type of game, so uh, <laughs> I'm not surprised I lost. But uh, that's pretty much it, YouTube. So that's Guardians of Middle Earth. If you like uh, MOBAs, I highly recommend it uh, for uh, console players out there. It's console exclusive, of course, uh, to PSN and Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, 15 bucks. Uh, definitely really good. Designed specifically for the consoles. Controls are on point. And uh, gameplay loop is uh, your standard MOBA addictiveness. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, for this video um, besides that check out uh, Far Cry 3 uh, the review and the walkthrough are up on the site and uh, not too nerdy .com and on the YouTube channel there should be a link for the review in the description so definitely watch that a really good uh, walkthrough I know most of you guys have seen uh, Far Cry 3 already a lot of people had the walkthrough done before the game even completed but uh, it's really good. Uh, it's one of, definitely one of my uh, top games this year. So uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for watching. This is Drew from Not Tenary.